This is CNN Breaking News. Good evening. I'm Michael Smirkanish. We're going to get the latest on Flight 370 in just a moment, but we have breaking news tonight. Tsunami waves six and a half feet high reported off the coast of Chile following an 8.2 magnitude earthquake. Chile's National Emergency Office tweeted tonight that it's asking for everyone to evacuate the South American nation's coast. Shasta Darlington has the very latest. Shasta, what are you hearing from the local media? Well, that's right, Michael. We're, we're actually already seeing some evacuations underway. Uh, what we've seen so far is that they are, they're very calm. They've been ordered to get, to get to higher ground, but they're doing it in a very orderly fashion. Um, the, we've actually also talked to people in the capital in Santiago who said they did not feel the earthquake. It was up along the northern coast near Iquique, off the coast of uh, the mining town of Iquique. That's where the epicenter was. So a lot of people in northern Chile, southern Southern Peru, that's where it's really being felt, and that's where the evacuations are, are being carried out with a bit more urgency. Uh, this is where the waves have already started crashing on shore, as you said, the six and a half uh, foot tsunami. Uh, and this is where we're going to see a lot of the action moving forward. Hopefully, again, the warnings are getting out fast enough for people to get out of harm's way, and that's what we'll be keeping an eye on, Michael. Shasta, you're in Sao Paulo. How common are these events in that part of the world? Uh, well, in Chile, they're very common. In Chile, Peru, we, we see these earthquakes. We've seen tsunamis before. It's something that just happens time and time again, uh, which means, of course, they're better prepared. They, they know when the warnings go out what to do. They gather just what's absolutely necessary and, and head for higher ground, and that's what, what they're doing. Um, this, it could take even hours for, for, the, uh, for any possible tsunamis to get to further coastlines. Uh, there was actually uh, the, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said, for example, that if waves were to impact Hawaii, it wouldn't be until the pre-dawn hours. Uh, so what we're seeing in northern Chile is just the initial uh, reaction of this earthquake, which could continue to spread. And so we're going to have to wait for that, Michael. Is there any uh, anticipated time by which waves could hit landfall, or is it premature to know that? Well, in right off the coast, the, the uh, or actually the coast nearest the epicenter, we are already seeing those waves. I guess the big question is, could they get bigger? Six and a half foot wa waves, not something anybody wants to see. Uh, but the concern is that we could get a bigger tsunami uh, as the the ripple effect is felt as it reaches further shores. Will the tsunamis get bigger, or or could we? perhaps not see any at all. These are the questions we're trying to get answered as quickly as possible, Michael. And, and Shasta, I know that it's, it's all just unfolding as we speak, but you mentioned a moment ago there is a certain level of preparedness by folks in this part of the world because these things are not all that uncommon. Any sense of panic or is it orderly as far as you can tell at this moment? Really, what we've, what we've seen, the images we've seen, it's been very orderly. I think in part because this wasn't felt in the capital of Chile and Santiago, there's a sense that this isn't one of those biggies. Of course, uh, in northern Chile, that's, that's probably not what's going through their heads. Nonetheless, they've been ordered to evacuate, and everything we've seen so far, that, that those evacuations are being carried out in an orderly fashion. And the same goes for southern Peru, where they've also ordered evacuations there. Uh, everything we've seen so far, things are being carried out in an orderly fashion, Michael. Shasta Darlington, thanks so much and stay safe. Now